हेलो बच्चों हाउ आर यू आज हम आपको न्यूटन लॉज ऑफ मोशन से रिलेटेड कुछ कॉन्सेप्चुअल पॉइंट्स बताने जा रहे हैं न्यूटन लॉज ऑफ मोशन ये कोई ब्लॉक है एक्सटर्नल फोर्स जब ब्लॉक के ऊपर अप्लाई होता है तो इसमें एक्सेलरेशन प्रोड्यूस होता है एफ एक्सटर्नल एंड ए वेक्टर इज एक्सेलरेशन फर्स्ट पॉइंट acceleration produced in the material body or particle is directly proportional to the external force is applied and in the same direction a vector is directly proportional to f external it is more popular as following f external is directly proportional to a vector second point it can be converted into equation as following f external equal to k a vector where k is some constant for a given body third point ek object hai us par jab force apply ho raha hai to iska jo velocity 0 to 2 meter per second ye 1 second mein change hota hai iska acceleration 2 meter per second square hota hai jab isko two times kar dete hain force same lagta hai to uska jo acceleration hota hai वो हाफ हो जाता है वन मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर हो जाता है वेलोसिटी जीरो टू वन मीटर पर सेकंड इन वन सेकंड इन फर्स्ट केस सोन एब इफ एक्सेलरेशन ए वन इक्वल टू एफ बाई टू देन सेकंड केस ए टू वेक्टर इक्वल टू एफ बाई वन द क्वांटिटी ऑफ मैटर मूव इन सेकंड केस डबल द क्वांटिटी ऑफ मैटर इन फर्स्ट केस इट शोज दैट के इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्सनल टू क्वांटिटी ऑफ मैटर in a body the quantity of matter in the body is called mass and shown by m then k is directly proportional to m note lesser inertia bigger bigger change in velocity v vector in first case greater in inertia lesser change in velocity in second case it shows that k is directly proportional to inertia so this and this equation shows that k is called inertial mass and shown by m i now it shows that m i is directly proportional to m inertia is the property of a body to oppose change of state newton's hypothesis the m i r k can be measured as Am I equal to k equal to f external upon a vector? F external and the a vector can be measured. There is no experimental or even theoretical method in physics and also in chemistry to measure practically the mass or m or quantity of matter in the body. There is no experimental observation. and proof of quantity of matter or mass of body the above hypothesis can be assumed true then inertial mass is called in short as mass then equation f equal to ma vector next point newtons actually gave only the second law the first law was almost given by galileo after 40 years newtons second third law was formulated by newtons student first law and third law can be derived second law second law as following f external equal to mass into a x a vector if f external equal to 0 then a vector equal to 0 a vector is acceleration d by dt equal to 0 so dv equal to 0 v equal to constant the definition of force comes from first law force force kya hota hai it is external agency responsible for change in the state of motion what is external agency anything body or phenomenon which is external to the given body is state of motion kya hai the velocity and magnitude and direction this is state of motion thank you